Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader, detectrader.com. It's uh, Tuesday, the 28th of November. These are the charts of the day. Well, it was a kind of an interesting market as they powered ahead and reached all new all time highs before the rollover based on the North Korean missile uh, launching. But the rally back was phenomenal. And even though they did pull back at the end, it was a pretty strong session. A lot of stocks did well today. I'm going to show you a couple of retail stocks that'll blow your mind. Retail stocks have been so bad all year. If you take a look at Abercrombie, it's not dropped from 33 down to under nine um, in a beautiful major decline. Then a left shoulder head and a right shoulder developed and broke out. This breakaway gap that we're seeing in here is, is a huge gap with almost, almost 19 million shares. And then the subsequent pop to resistance and consolidation for four days, today another breakout. The near term targets to 21 and 23. And this probably should be a swing. It looks pretty darn good at seven, uh, 3.2 days to cover. And this looks like it definitely reversed. The other stock in that group, I might as well get that out of the way, would be, where is that puppy? Express. A very similar chart in that it had a massive decline. This one's gone from uh, the low 20s all the way down to five and change. It looks like this is a base pattern that was broken as it thrusted a few days ago and pulled back for a couple of days and today right back up again, another six and a half percent. It looks to me like your targets would have to be close to 10 and then 11 and three quarters, 12 range. So let's keep an eye on this one going forward for potential trades. AQ, which I put out this morning, a new issue in the semiconductor group. Today was featured by five or six firms, major firms with um, initiations and most of them were buys with targets uh, you know, up in mid tight teens. So this one broke out, no question, of a, of a strong surge, wedge and breakout. Now, any pullback towards 12 and three quarters 13 would be a buy for a move into the mid-teens. It may get it up towards uh, 17, we'll see. AXTI, one of my favorite junior semiconductors with a beautiful trend. We gave you this originally down here in the uh, four and three quarter range back about a year ago. And this thing's it's subsequently gone up about 125%. The current breakout across the double top and then the, this wedge has me thinking we're headed to 12.13 next, 4.8 days to cover. Well, cool, look at this long-term chart. I sat down tonight with a major biotech fund manager who was an inside investor who actually bought stock at three. Um, he thinks this is a hundred dollar stock and he said, look, you can consider me prejudiced, but I know the technology and if it's real and the human tests come out and it may be out in the next month or two, it could be a rock star going all the way up to 70, 80, 90, 100. So keep an eye on this one. Yes, it broke out and yes, it pulled back dramatically, but look where it pulled back from, a key resistance level. So not a surprise that it would pull back. The problem was how much it pulled back. Yet, Net net, it was still up $1.22 or 4.5% on the biggest volume that I've seen in this stock since back in June. For me, if it doesn't pull down and close with it tomorrow negatively and manages to hold, say, today's low around 26.80, I'll be good with that. Um, 26 is 80 is 27. If it runs up to 30, 31 range and holds it, I'll be happy with that. And particularly break out, of course, above 32. Um, 63 would tell me this is going to the high 30s and then maybe mid 40s. There's 3.6 days to cover, but this stock is very thin. Um, I believe there's 6 million outstanding and a million seven floating, something like that. CPRX, of junior biotech acting great in here. Beautiful rising channel. Looks like it's headed to 5.6 range. In the last couple of days, it was a breakout yesterday on Big Volume and a fall through today on Big Volume. Near term target, 4.5, and now let's call it 5 and a quarter. 6.9 days to cover on CPRX. Nice chart for a junior bio. ERII. Well, some of you remember back in here where we made a lot of money with it, but re recently after a, a long decline of almost a year, the stock reversed, retested, 50, bounced, formed the wedge, and today popped another 90 cents or almost 10%. I think that's a breakout session. The next target's gotta be 12, 13 zone, and then 15. 21 days to cover short. FRTA. Proterra in the building material area, along with BLDR. Let me show you that one quickly because I didn't feature it tonight. But I love the look of this one, making new highs. Although that is at long-term resistance, this thing looks like a $25, $30 stock down the road, if not more. More importantly, back to FRTA in the same group, building material sector. Um, this uh, appears to have to have a nasty drop from the base and broke out. There's your base. As you break out, there's a rising flag. Now, it's moving across resistance here. It may very well move up to in that 13, 14 range. That's my next target on this one. This looks pretty good. And it's 3.7 days to cover on this as well. Today was a real good day for it up 
Well, GBTC is a monster. I want to show it to you because it can affect all the stocks we talk about, or many of them like Riot and Mara, etc. Here's a one, two, three, four, and a big move up in the fifth wave. I'm not sure this is the top yet, although it has gone up four days in a row with consecutive gaps. Big volume today might be a peak, or it might have one more day for the upside. We'll see. But keep an eye on the gap and support around 1350, 1400. The target is now uh, 1875 would be my target. Hymix. Nice recovery from a three-day pullback from key resistance and a little pop of 46 cents. But it looks to me like this is going to accelerate and make it to 16. 16 is the big one. Go back here and you'll see that way back in 2014 it hit 16.15. Uh, and that's the level I'll be watching. Mark. What I really like about Mark is I told you I think the stock was higher. But, and I missed that pullback this morning. I don't know how I missed it, but bottom line is that was a steep recovery after a run-up like that, after a drop-off to 7.52. And the damn thing went to 9.57 for $2 right there. And a pullback wedge or coil, I should say, and late pop. I'm thinking this goes through the nine three quarters, and if it does, and takes out that zone, this is gonna be a $12, $13 stock. MX is another junior semiconductor I like. I love this little pennant it's forming a wedge. I think it's a setup after the breakout above a triple top for a move up to 15 and then 16 and a half, 17. 7.5 7 days to cover on this one. Quinn Street. Wow, look at the pop pullback for three days and now another pop today. Looks like we're headed to 14 and 17 on this one. It's three days to cover. Nice chart, nice formation, nice symmetrical rising 45 degree angle. SRAX. Well, I'm very impressed with the way it came down and then recovered with a, uh, with a loss, I mean, with, with a profit. Many of them did not. This is a good example of an increasing volume of a stock that may not be anywhere near done. This time it had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven way move here. This is just one and two. I don't know if it was seven, but let's look for three, four, and five. And maybe if it gets above eight, this could rock into the low teens. So watch this one carefully as it could be huge. VERI could have turned around today. They had some nice news out of Amazon. It broke the declining tops line. It jumped um, five and a half points off the low and closed up 524. That was 23% today, a big day for it. Um, note the resistance back here at 29.62. If this gets above 29 three quarters 30, I think it headed to 35.6 pretty quickly. You may even get it up to 40 at some point. But this is worth watching. Winnebago, correct uh, correction for a few days and then boom, what a nice pop today. Up 395 or 7.8%. 6.82 days to cover. The buying was the biggest in two months. This looks awesome. I think it's going to mid-60s, at least low to mid-60s. And folks, that's it for tonight for the charts of the day. Have a great evening. Let's make some money tomorrow. Good night.